Hello, my name is Maureen McCormick, Strategy Executive, and I work for Invest Northern Ireland. Thank you for joining today's presentation, which is titled The Challenges Around Northern Ireland's Aging Workforce. The purpose of today's presentation is to raise awareness of our changing local and national demographics. Northern Ireland has an aging demographic structure, and this in turn has implications in the context of workplace demographics and both our current and the future supply of labour. This presentation will provide knowledge to both Invest and I staff and companies on age friendly approaches and employment policies. This guidance aims to ensure companies maintain a skilled supply of labour that meets their business and operational demands. The guidance will assist companies to mitigate against the effects of ageing in their workplace and any associated impacts on productivity and growth. The areas I will cover today are why do we have a global ageing population, the changing UK and Northern Ireland demographics, the impacts of workforce ageing on labour productivity and economic growth, encouraging companies to be age aware, proactively complete workforce age profiling and to examine the positive contribution from an age diverse workforce. We will also look at government and industry working in partnership to diminish the impacts of our changing demographics, how to develop an age-friendly people strategy and the conclusion. You can download a PDF of this presentation from the link on this page. It contains additional links to further reading on these subjects. In this section we will look at why do we have a global ageing population. What is clear is that the changing age structure in both Northern Ireland and the UK has largely resulted from a number of factors. These include natural growth, the difference between the number of births and deaths, advances and progress in medical science has extended the UK lifespan, leading to a reduction in mortality rates. So that means we have less deaths than births. Additionally, higher standards of living means people in general are living longer than they did historically. An additional factor is that less children are being born, either through choice, but also coupled with falling fertility rates. Women in 1964 were having approximately 2.93 children versus 1.8 child per woman in 2014. On the global front, other ad hoc factors come into play to affect labour supply, such as China and its historic birth planning policy of one child. Although since 2016, this policy has increased to two children amid their growing concerns over an ageing population and a dropping birth rate. And on the global front, the area around net migration and the free movement of labour have some minimal impact on population changes. It is predominantly young people who come to the UK, so they do not add to the ageing debate. Most foreign citizens arriving in the UK are 20 to 30 years old. Whilst there is some debate about younger people bringing older relatives or grandparents with them, the numbers are in fact small. The net increase in foreign citizens aged between 65 to 84 arriving in the UK in the six year period 2008 to 2014 was fewer than 18,000. This is topical at the moment, particularly in relation to the wider debates surrounding Brexit. But what we can say is that overall net migration has some impact on our ageing population, but it is minimal. 